So this is a continuation from the last video, which was about pages and how to get parameters out of them. And now we're just going to look at how to get parameters out of endpoints. So we've got this params variable right here. Let me show you how you'll do it. So basically, you've got some endpoint here, for example, high-person-age. And here, what you need to do is just um, basically pull out the params argument, uh, which you can see here among all these others. So you might pull out method, host, or whatever. But if you just need params, you can pull that out and then use it in your function. So here I have high dash some person dash age, and then it'll give them a message back. So if I go to high dash Manuel 33, hi Manuel who is 33 years old. Okay, and I can also do that for a post if I did a post. And I also wanted to point out um, last time I didn't mention, but you can actually have in your folders, you can also have parameters. So let's say here I have an index, this is basically a fall through because anything that doesn't match about or this here or index is probably going to match. Well, it is going to match this because it's um, it's just a catch all. So anything that like so if I made a typo here, it's going to say, oh wait, no, that's not a typo. But if I don't match the like that, it's just a fallback, okay? Because it doesn't match this pattern here or this or anything. So you can put it in a folder, but that's going to basically be a catch all. Uh, so you probably want to nest it into something lower down or something. Uh, yep, so that is basically it. Just a short video, and have a wonderful day. Bye.